Hello everyone, welcome back to the room. Today we're going to do this Ouija board, this Luigi board, and then figure out what this demon is going to tell us. Probably. And this may be the final chapter, it kind of looks like a final thing, it's not... I mean, there could be more boxes that pop up out of this, but... I do know that this game is pretty darn slow. So, it's going to tell me I can't go back down there, isn't it? Okay. We're looking at that. We can turn now. Hey, look, a crab. Oh, these are con these are Zodiac constellations, aren't they? I was like, oh, it's a Cthulhu, but no, it's a lobster. Lobsters aren't crabs. That's a lobster, not a crab. Oh, hey, look what I found. It's the same thing I just had, but I got another one. It's the last note. August 15th. Something is wrong. I followed the incantation to the very letter. Astaroth did not appear. There are no answers to be had, more questions. The visions have increased. They gather to me and I cannot stay in one place for long. I try to monitor them, but the lens hurts my eyes. I have mixed a solution for the pain. For those that follow and find this journal, I lack the power to destroy this. There is no concept within the human sphere with which to explain it. The house is so much larger now. There are rooms everywhere. You are a going crazy. So I haven't actually edited episode two yet. If this ends up being short enough, I might just slap it onto the end there. I don't see how long this will go. I don't see this going that long, I mean. Small slit in the exact center. We got some stuff. Circular indentation. Nothing seems to be interactable. That slit didn't happen to be square shaped, did it? No. I can't examine this? What? That's totally interactable. Let's press the button and open this. Okay, nope. Hexagon? Get to the, I, I've got to the point in this game where I just double click everywhere and see if it takes me closer. This is going to be something. You know what? Why not try putting the crank in here? I don't think it's the right shape. Might as well. Okay. You sure I can't zoom in on this? That seems odd. Okay, well... Yeah. What is this? Oh, I can't change it again. It's done. It was like I gotta turn these things with it. Maybe I was double clicking on the wrong spot? Can I interact with it now? Oh, I can interact with that. Can I crank this? I can. It's the wrong shape, shape, but I can. There we go. Oh, there we go. Where was that stored? You mean to tell me this just popped up out of here? <laughs> I think we got some interdimensional stuff happening now. Maybe that's the point. Hey, look, we're turning to a different constellation. There's a sword constellation? I didn't know that. Can't change it again. What did that do? Hey, look. All right, if we look through here with the eye, there is a sword in the table. And there is, this is going to make the sword appear, I sub, sub, subsume, I assume. Um, we can find an angle to look at this. It all seems wrong. Maybe we need to move this screen or something? I don't seem to be able to see it. Can I look at it from farther back? This is farther back. Yeah, those symbols don't appear to... Oh. Can I turn this? 
Oh, yeah, that would help. You know, if I just look through this from the beginning. Sword. Where's the sword up in the sky? Oh, hey, look, a sconce. You don't see the sword. Maybe it's not a real constellation. Can't turn this yet. Oh, it's... Oh, duh. It's this. Nothing new is happening, it seems. Can I turn this anymore? No, that would be silly, because it turns the middle one. Touch the hexagon. No. Okay, maybe the arrows are pointing at where I'm supposed to do things. Uh, maybe not. There's something written on that? No, it's just a pattern. Oh, I bet I know what happened. I bet these flipped up from down here. No, they popped up out of the board, out of the table, didn't they? Did we try tapping this? Yes. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it does have something to do with in here. But I can't get these symbols to align. Oh. Well, that will be how you do it. Something like that. Not quite there. A little farther. A little farther. Hmm. So it should be like right here. Maybe it should be on the side closer to me. That. A little farther. No. No. Come on. <laughs> like a Central American something in there. Oh, this is it. Right, because it goes on both sides of that. Okay, we're so close to there. Oh man. How can that how is that not it? <laughs> is this it? No. Is this what I just had? Come on, come on, this is totally it. <sighs> what about this? No, that's that's off now. I mean, it snaps into place. This has to be the one, right? But like we just can't get it to be perfect. Can we look around at all when we're close? Oh, we can. There we go. Why, thank you. I will not use this to balance the scales. An ordinary ancient dagger. And now the wood is no longer shiny, but it does show us a code. Stair steps from top left to bottom right. we could, you know, find something for it. Oh, I know, we gotta stab something. Let's try stabbing this. Or, no, I know what we gotta stab. What am I thinking? We gotta stab this. Bam! Oh, cool! I had one of these when I was a kid. Yep, 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 yep. And there we go. Now it wants us to move to the next constellation. Okay, we might go through a good number of these. It's the eye. The eye of the solar system. What have we got on here? Arrows? 
pointing this way, that way, and the other way. I suppose we can't zoom in on this. Can we zoom in on the planets? Come on, why can't I just highlight one and then autopilot to it? Looks like there's something missing here. Can't crank this anymore, I'm pretty sure. Or this. Can I put more codes in here? I can. Oh, hey! Oh, cool! I see what we gotta do. We gotta get in the right spot and then wait for it all to align. Oh, and there's the code. Why? It's here, close to there. Right there. Oh, so close. Not quite. Oh, come on, that's not fair. <laughs> we have to wait for all of them to align? Was that it? Am I still not looking at it right? I wish I could slow this down so I could see the exact spot it needs to be. This looks right. Be a little more, like, line that planet up exactly. What? Come on. Maybe I gotta make it stop. Okay, let's plug in this code. Oh hey, it just stopped perfectly for me. I didn't have to time it or anything. Yeah, there we go. I think it should have worked when they were flying by. I think that should have been the puzzle. It's like, oh, it makes the picture, but you have to do do the combination to make it stop. Large gold amulet. Alright. That should go here, probably. Can we turn it over and see what's on the other side? Nothing is on the other side. Something else gonna come up out of there? Oh, hey, that just phased through the planetarium. Okay, something new in our boards. Yes, hello. You look friendly. It's a fortress. I can't see anything. Hmm. Oh, hey, look. Oh, never mind. I thought one of these was glowing. Oh, hey, I can turn it. All right, let's do that. See what's there. Hey, okay, it turned a little bit. So directly the back. Bam. Nothing in the back. How about the last last one. There we go. Still nothing. Hmm. You don't see any code written on it. Nothing on top of it. Okay, what if we go to where the arrows are not? It's just another wall. And just another wall. So, unless there's like... Oh! Oh, I see. It's the combination. So it's like one on top, and then the next layer has two of those. And then each of these arrows will probably show us another uh, another row 
let's put it halfway between those so we can see all of them. Yeah. So there's one, two, one, two. It's hopscotch. Bam, 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 bam. Isn't there a song you're supposed to sing when you do that? I don't know, it's been like 20 years since I've played. I think we found a null crystal. Oh, I just grabbed it. I thought I was going to have to grab the crystal out of the center. The energy source harnessing the null element. The next constellation we come. What have we now? Ah. Oh. So we're going to have to change these one at a time. Let's pop you on there. I mean, we can see it. Whoa. I'm in a new place. I'm at Stonehenge now. All right, can I turn these? Um, something isn't right here. Hmm. Oh, there's a fourth one. This is only part of the symbol, though. Whoa! And here we have another table. Is this the center of the box? Why do I have to do this at Stonehenge? Not that I'm complaining, it's pretty cool. Is there... oh! Yeah, power source. Let's just power this thing on. What could go wrong? Am I right? I think I'm getting out of the room, guys. I think I did it. I think I'm free. Am I Ashtaroth? Pleasing progress. You really think you've proven yourself yet? Yeah, there's another chapter? Okay. That seemed pretty short. I'm gonna check the time. Yeah, that took less than 20 minutes, and uh, the only video I ever put out that was less than that, which wasn't a special video, was that one day when I was trying to play Talos Principle and got motion sick. So, we're continuing. Oh, hey, we're going back in Giant's Deep. There's another box, guys. Did you guess? And another note. Oh, was there text? I think it said, like, what is this or something like that. It's a new thing. Oh, hey, it's like a, it's like Mist giving you the combination to the piano. Except it just gives it to you. A queer sense of movement. Not quite turning, not quite falling. I felt myself cross the threshold and the visions abated. Perhaps they only serve to drive me to this place. The route back across closes behind me. But a way forward opens ahead. Something is drawing me on. In case you are with me, I will try to guide you along the path. I pray you never come. I pray you are just another of my dream. So, the second outside, or there's two and then... And there's two blacks and three whites, and then it's the white keys outside of that. Well... This one looks like it might take some doing. We got ourselves a passcode here, it looks like. This one's a different color. Maybe we can slide it out and replace it. Oh. Just gotta find a, find a code, I suppose. We still might be able to slide that one out and replace it. These buttons, they're not. And these don't turn. There's a thing here, a hatch. Okay, we'll come back to that. This has some symbols on it. It's got that squiggle symbol. It's got this symbol. 
It's probably got a lot of symbols, so I won't worry about using that as decoding. Yep. Hello. They're gonna fall off. It looks like there's a gear missing. Okay, we need gears. One, two, three. There's a lot of stuff missing. Have we been here? No. There are two small holes suggesting something's missing. Yeah, so I was thinking I would be able to figure out how much time is left in the game based on the size of the box we have left. Now I'm not so sure, because this is a completely different box and we have a new table. Someone was drawing the power source. A notepad with a sketch of the null element. It's a keyhole, which we can't do anything with yet. Yeah, come on. You're telling me we can't zoom in on this thing on top of the box? It looks so cool, though. Null element. We just swept, swept over to the other side of the... Oh, no, to this thing. Uh, I don't know. Even, I don't know what we're doing. This looks like it can be rotated. A melody. Two, five... P, F, F. Well, I don't know much music theory, but I know that all these symbols mean things. So, hopefully it's something that can be solved by someone who doesn't have to go look up, like, video lectures. <laughs> that is not quite the same thing, because the 2 and 5 are here, instead of at a different place. The star shaped socket. Or maybe it'll just be the, you know, hunt until you find the thing puzzle like everything else in this game has been. Limited edition English drum table. Job number 3817. Oh yeah. We could try looking with the eye. Yeah, it's usually where the answer is when I don't know where it is. Hey look, there's a thing on the table. It's a handprint, but it's... And you can barely tell that this is something you can slide, but you can't slide it unless you have this. That was kind of cool. Okay, now it's raised. Can I open part of it? Oh, there we go. I got a gear! Let's see if there's more we can find with this. I'm not seeing anything. Maybe if we put the gear on, it'll open something up. There's a single- why just a single gear? I don't know. Also, have I gone in a circle? Here it is. I know, put the gear here! Oh. Oh hey, just a single gear does do something. And uh, now we can slide the thing. Okay, we- I th Okay, I think I see what we want to do. We want to rotate- We want to rotate all of these things so that they're facing outward. And so a way to do that is to go past vertically past each of them once. So am I about to get there? There we go. Okay. So we have to go vertically past each of them once and then get back to where we started. I think I see how to do it. You just ignore the middle path. There we go. What? Okay, not quite. We gotta do something else after that. Yep. Okay, now we can slide it into here. Alright, we've opened one. Now we gotta do it up there. Alright. So now I think we wanna use the middle path. There we go. Nice and easy. Now that I know what I'm doing, it's like, yeah, that's what we gotta do. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, it's a thing, and it's opening multiple times. I got a metal orb. There's something strange about it. And what's this on top? Some indentations, there's a piece missing. Can't look at it with the eye. Can slide this, the inside. I'm probably looking for something specific. I can have the flowers. Maybe this is the wrong side. Want the symbol to be up? Yeah! Now what? Okay, there's a hinge here, which means... Button. <laughs> No, don't fall closed. Yeah. That's like a clock. A hey, gear. A small gear. That should be good. Now we don't need that anymore because it's got... Wait a minute. How am I viewing it from this perspective? Just tell me that. Plop the gear on the thing. I mean, I do like all the uh, mechanical parts to this puzzle, to this game. The pixel hunting isn't that fun, but just the way that all the things move is strangely satisfying. And not, and the only reason I said strangely is because the word is on the screen. Death! Some old faded tarot cards. Voyage. I never w had any interest in tarot, and I don't know what the cards are. If you have found that interesting, then let me know. What do you what do you find interesting about it? Wait, can we slide this? No. All right, there's a star-shaped key. Let's try putting it in here. Wonk. What is this? Where is this? Is that around us on the outside? Too far. I wanna don't wanna turn it that far. Is it Oh hey. <laughs> There's something else in there. Okay, that changed. Now is this gonna go at a different speed? I mean, I'm not like winding it up, am I? And then it just slowly goes the other way. So that did something with this. Where else? So there were only two places we saw the musical notes, right? It was there and here. Oh! Oh, I see what we gotta do. There's gonna be something, yeah. There we go, we got a key. And now we gotta slide... Now we gotta slide this up. And I see, um, there's arrows. So I'm guessing that's where the... That's where the places are that we can turn this. So what if we turn it straight up? Anything useful happen? Nope. And then toward this arrow? And now we get this thing. Stamp or whatever. A metal plate. Let's look at it. What's on the underside? Just squares. Oh, I don't mind squares. I bet that goes here. Hey! Open in the table. Oh, I know what the combination is. It looks like a coin slot. That's not very nice. Now we can see the music box. Just make up a little tune there. It's 
So we also have this key, which means that we do have something else to do. Oh yeah. Okay, now this is... Oh, I see! We turn the key to these things and it shows that this is number three and it's that symbol. So it's like a, a harp, kind of, but like evil or magic. And this is number one. I see the symbols now. Three, one, two. One is not pointing anywhere, so which means we need to flip the switch again. So let's go to two first. Two is a double note with an I symbol in the middle. Now, let's see, are these actually symbols here? Or are we gonna have to know they're not? We're gonna have to suss something out here. So like mirror them or something. Oh, hey look, we got ourselves a combination. <laughs> Is this thing moved into this place? Okay. Number one, a triangle with a sine wave in it. Number two, we got the, I don't know what to call that. It, I definitely should have something to call that. Number three, we got a broken dollar sign. Number one. Triangle with the sine wave, number two. And we forgot what it was, this thing. Number three, a broken dollar sign. We got a coin! Oh yeah, there are there were coins with holes in them. Once upon a time. There we go. I didn't do it right. Maybe I did. No, I guess not. That's not hard. Is that the theme song? A metal handle and another metal handle. Aha! Bye bye. And I can't turn it again. All right, let's see. What can we do with metal handles? What is this? Oh yes. And another combination that we haven't figured out yet, or we haven't found the significance of. Now, where can we put metal handle? Huh, that's funny. Now I'm at a point where I have ha I have items and I don't know what to do with them. Like here? Oh, hey, this is an extra panel. Looks like this one opens. This one's just here. Can I... Oh, I'm looking at it, I guess. Can I put the handles in here? No? Well, something significant is going to be here. Because that thing is not on either of these other parts. Okay, we might as well check out this, uh, this other thing. Does that change here? Flip you up. No, it's still... Oh. One is now... Multiple things. Oh. No, what this is saying is that... I think what this is saying... I think what this is saying is that this is three and this is... Two. Mm. Okay, so it's one, 
One is lit up, but the arrows are pointing to these other things. What if I go to an in-between? I can't go to an in-between. There are only three slots. Oh! Oh, there we go. We can turn this here. Three, so... These are... This is not mirrored. The rest of these are mirrored. Hmm. What is it if you cover up half of it? I'm doing it with my thumb. It's nothing that I recognize. What about this one? No. Uh... What if... You know, I actually look on here... Two! <laughs> two is right here. Hmm, strange. Five is down here. Can I see three from here? There's one. One is the C thing. Oh man, it's so hard to... Uh. Man, this one's actually a puzzle. It's like, well, what is it? Four? One four? Is a four? This could be one, but I know it's on two right now. Now here's the thing. One says it has two, oh. Oh, no, maybe this is the key, because we can't slide these. One has C on the left, and eighth notes on the right. Well, let's go back to where we can see number one. Yeah, it's got a C on the left, and then eighth notes on the right. Okay. What about two? Now we can change two. Is two on here? No. Two is up there. Now it's just got some eighth notes in the middle, pointing up. Nope. Alright, let's switch this to eighth notes pointing up. I can't find eighth notes pointing up. Uh, well, what was it? Was it this one? That's what one was. So, yeah, and that was eighth notes pointing up. So, let's just assume that for now that that's what this means for two. But why is there a five then? I see three. I can see three. So that's like a sl that's a a slide. Is that what it's called? A slide over eighth notes. You can find something that's a, that looks like a slide over eighth notes. Okay, they opened. I guess I guess that was right. <laughs> uh, I've been guessing. Alright, what's in there now? Hey, I wonder if I can put the handle... No. No, I can push them, their buttons. <laughs> A combination and some glowy things. Oh yeah. Looks like an upside down three. And what we have here? Nope.
Um, can we turn these? We can. Alright, I'm gonna have to get myself into... Okay, this one doesn't change. So maybe we can match this one up with it. Is that gonna be a... We look at it from a different angle. Like, make that into a five. <laughs> no, it's not really... Maybe this is the end. Maybe we want to look at it from this way. There we go. Got ourselves a... Matches up there. Switch this one. Now it matches up. Five, seven, three. That was pretty cool. And this thing, just as predicted. Five, seven, three. How funny would it be if it just closed and that was all it was? Hey look, stuff we can look through. Nothing to see there. We got ourselves a, a cube puzzle, I think. I can't, like, do anything through this. A socket for something. Oh, is that where these go? Yeah. Oh, I bet we could have seen that. Oh, no. Oh, we're just... Okay. I was like, this isn't a Rubik's Cube, is it? All right, so top top right, bottom left, top right. Is this doing something with the back? Oh, hey, is letting us see it in the back. Hmm. Yeah, so it must have started out like this, so it couldn't see anything. So let's just cycle through all the faces. Why not? That one has it down. Yep. And then that one has it down on the right. Yep. I'm checking to see if there's anything like in these. Now we should give it on top. Like, these aren't buttons. I can't do anything with them. I can... I'll turn it this way. And then that'd be the last one, I think. Yeah, so I've gotten every face to be here. Like, I can't click on it and lock it in or anything. And that machinery is pretty cool back there. I want to install some guard railings, you know, to avoid injury, but other than that, it's pretty neat. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this. Is there any particular spot that I haven't got yet? Like this one? Let's try to get it in the top right and see if we can see what happens then. Did I say top right? I mean top left. Okay. Top left would be bottom right here. It's bottom left. Bottom left again. Bottom right. There we go. Now it's in the top left. Great. I can do all kinds of things with that. Well, there's four of them, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so if I could use it, do this as a Rubik's Cube, I could get all four of them on the same face. I can't pull these or anything though. I can just rotate everything at once.
Oh. Never mind. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I was like, I can't do anything with these. Now is it gonna... Oh, no, it's just... It's just covered. Oh, man, is it that easy? I'm kind of disappointed with this. I thought we had a real puzzle. I thought we'd have... We, I thought this would lock it in place, and then we'd have to turn the other ones. But no. This is possibly the most interesting puzzle we've had so far, though. So, I'm not complaining. Alright, that's in the wrong spot. Okay, we've got some doing to do. We need to, we need to rotate this sideways once. So, up. Yep, other, other way. There we go. Alright, just kind of went with that by feel. There we go, now it auto Rubik's cubes it for us. All right, a red gem and a metal plate. I bet we know what to do with that. Oh, hey, look, new stuff. There's other gems. I can't can't zoom in on this. There we go. Wonk. I didn't get anything from it. Can I look through here? I only see it with this. What was that supposed to be? Sausages? There's an atomic symbol up there. What have we got? A sliding puzzle? With lots of blank spots. Lots of blank spots makes it easy. What's on the back? Oh, hey. Okay. So you just gotta get those pieces into there. Now the orange one or the yellow one is going to be the hardest. Green. What was green? Yellow was arrow. Air, a Eros, right? This ain't going to be too hard. Red was fire. And uh, blue was water. That was easy. Does it matter which one we put it in? I guess it does. Huh. Well, red can't change. So we can either look for a combination or we can brute force it. Well, this drawer is still open. Does this show us anything? Nope. Oh. Looking through here will probably help us. Blue. Now there's blue there. Well, maybe it maybe it doesn't matter what order the what order it is. Maybe we gotta look through it with all of them in. It doesn't matter. Okay, the blue is attached to the green. The green is not attached to the red, and the yellow can't tell the difference between yellow and green. It looks like there's just blue, green, and red. Which doesn't make sense. Okay, is this yellow? This might be yellow. 
Okay, maybe the blue is attached to the yellow. Attached to the... Hmm. But the red can't be in the wrong spot. Nothing on the other side of this. Is this what I just had? Yes. I could not tell the difference. I also don't know if anything's different now. I'm gonna look around and see if I can find uh, something. Never mind, there's no combination. Can I look through this side? No. Okay, swapping blue and green. Green go here, yellow go here. Nope. Now swap green and yellow. Wait, no, that's what I just did. Blue and yellow. That's not right. Yellow and green again. Crap. Where was each one? Uh, I think... Here we go. I think this is it. There we go. And that's the symbol right there. It's like, that's what we gotta make. But I didn't register that's what we had to make. Oh, is the lid gonna open? Yeah. It's a marble puzzle. Can we slide this? We can. Can we slide the pieces? How am I looking at it from here? <laughs> hmm. There's got to be a way to slide these. There we go. Slides all of them, one at a time. So. We just gotta go until we can get somewhere. Here we are. Let's kinda follow the path. Unless it takes us on a dead end. Which it might, or in a loop. And you know, we might have to go back to the outer shell again. Okay, this is the only new place to go. There we are. Aha. Got to find the angle, I think. No, this isn't the full symbol. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Is there anything else to do? Huh. Looks like there's... It's not the full symbol, right? Got a... Oh! There's the rest of it. Just on the wall back there. Oh, that's not the symbol either. We just gotta match it. Hey, another one. Maybe this one will be challenging, because maybe we'll have to go somewhere else that isn't just the first place ever. We gotta go somewhere else. I go back. Back even farther. I mean, there's nothing else that goes to that one, so... Hmm. I must just be blind. We can get onto this one. Doesn't seem to be taking us anywhere else on either side, though. Hmm.
Well, it seems there may be an actual other puzzle here. Okay, this one goes to here. And this one goes to here. Which goes... Uh oh. Do we just not see that for whatever reason? And the answer is yes. Beah! Something else to match up. Hey, it's with that, but not quite. Because it doesn't match. Or do we have to complete it? Or... And that's part of it. Oh, we can rotate it. There we go. Mm, yeah. Another door. The lens is breaking. No. The lens broke. But I can still see it. Game complete! <laughs> you made it through! Unflustered, I hope, as there will surely be sterner tests to come. You have taken the first step on a longer journey. I see no benefit in hiding the truth of your predicament. There is no way back. Not for any of us. For now, you are as trapped as I. Press forward with heart, my friend. There are many more rooms ahead. And that, everyone, was the room. So, as always, when I finish a game, here are the final thoughts. I know it's kind of weird for it being only episode three, <laughs> but I, surprisingly, despite the fact that the puzzles are basically pixel hunts, I really enjoyed this game. I enjoyed the experience, the graphics are cool. I liked the the mechanical feel of everything, the way things popped out and turned the keys turned in the locks and and um, the gears and not quite Rube Goldberg machines, but almost. That was a lot of fun. And um, I love the aesthetic too. It's so much fun, like ancient magics and forbidden studies and that that stuff's always cool to me in games. I know there's three other room games. Will we play those? Probably. Maybe not right away, but uh, we'll get to them eventually. Like maybe when they go on sale or something, because I've been sort of getting through my Steam library and uh, playing the games I own. And this is one of the games that I own, and I don't own any of the sequels yet. I have to buy them. Anyways, that was The Room. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.